that they won't have. <gasps> wow, they have it. Lazy. So I like to start every episode off like either cosplaying or having some sort of pro I don't have a giant hammer for Rhino. I, I only I only have this, this tiny hammer. hammer! <laughs> but after the new patch, now he says for the Crusaders. I don't really know how I feel about that. What the Crusaders? It's not the same. Welcome everybody to Chef you yeah. Welcome everybody to Chef you Wax, the number one cooking show that supports dirty aprons that doesn't get washed. And not because I don't want to, but because I'm lazy. Reinhardt Glizzies! There's no other way to introduce this episode. <laughs> That's right, boys. We are, in fact, making Reinhardt's extra large glizzies. Emphasis on the extra large. So, what are we gonna need to make these glizzies? Onion! For starters. Spices! The spiciest of red sauces. Ketchup. Essential oils. L literally, because they're oils that are essential for this glizzy recipe. Potatoes! You're gonna soon see why. But of course, the thing that makes this a Reinhardt's Glizzy recipe, a Reinhardt's Glizzy recipe, is some Bratz original, specifically from Johnsonville. <laughs> I love this recipe. <laughs> so first thing we gotta do is score the meat that is, um, <laughs> admittedly, a day old, but it's fine. If you don't see a top five episode tomorrow, you know why. God, look at these boys. I got a Glizzy in my hand. <laughs> They're so cute. Know. So we gotta have a decorative pattern. <laughs> Glizzy, glizzy, glizzy. How can you decorate a sausage? I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out today, so... Eh? There we go. Okay, this is a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm cutting into the force... I, that, not the force... This is looking kind of pretty. As pretty as a decorative sausage can be. There, does that, does that look good? I guess we're gonna find out. Mmm, that's how I like my glizzies. Nice and curved. <laughs> glizzies on deck, boy. Now we come into the stove top that I haven't also cleaned and turn that boy to medium heat. Everything is always medium heat. Why doesn't anybody have some balls and cook it on high heat? And then we get some of the succulent oil to pour all over these nice big old sausages. And then just turn that all around town. Actually, while we wait for a homeboy to heat up, let's go over here. And chop some onions! Never! Yeah! I mean, it wasn't that bad of a cut. We only need half of it. Alright, so we're gonna cut the tip off. That boy, that boy says. Mm. Now, I've been learning. I've been learning on how to cut some of this. So, we're gonna cut this in half and then do this. Ah, uh, it's so soggy. I mean, it's kind of getting sliced and diced because that's how we want it diced up. This isn't a Genji recipe. This is a Reinhardt's recipe. You know what? I'm gonna say? There's our beautiful hammer down onions. Our pan is nice and hot. Ah, ah. So now it's time to add the glizzies. One, there's two, and there is three. Spread them out a little bit because we have a few real estate inches. <laughs> inches. Put the lid on and let that cook. Let that simmer in there for, I don't know, a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. Now if you're a real man or a Mexican mom, uh, you can just flip these with your hand. None of which I am, so we're gonna be using some tongs. Oh yeah, look at that golden brown. Ow, ow, ow! Okay, okay, uh, flip that back over. And then we're gonna take a plate and line it up with the most exquisite paper towels that money could buy from the dollar store. All right, take that off the heat. Oh yeah, oh look at that. Just look, it's like we have every kind of represented glizzies in the world. But we're not done with you yet. Get back on high heat or medium heat. Pour the rest of the oil in there. And then guess what? We're gonna fry these onions. The one thing I've noticed is that I've never cried when I cut onions. Probably because my ex took away all my dears. And then once we saute these onions, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't know if I sauteed these or just fried them. We add a cup and a half of ketchup. Oh! God, this is actually a lot of ketchup. Really, a cup and a half? Oh my god, this isn't even all of it. Half a cup of water. Ew, I just mixed water with ketchup. Just a pinch of baking soda. Get a teaspoon of paprika. And then a tablespoon of curry powder. To make this nice and spicy. Wait, are we making Spicy ketchup? Bruh. All right, so once this boy has thickened, now we're gonna do something that we haven't done in a while. Use our blender! I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I got a rubber scraper. Oh, that sounds disgusting. No, it's pouring out the side, no! All right, there we go, boys and girls. Oh, do you see that steam? 
Do you see the sauce? Oh! But we got the sauce done. But you know what's next? Now we're gonna need to do the potatoes. Oh no, there's a potato stuck in the garbage disposal. So I don't know how to scrub a potato, so I'm just that gonna boy, that boy says. Uh, get a nice big long one. Remember guys, these are just potatoes. Look at our cute little potatoes. Oh, I absolutely love these little guys. <laughs> Now we gotta cut them up! You know what, that was actually a perfect chop because now I can just easily slice them down the middle. I've never made my own french fries, which is what I'm assuming we're making. Hey, there's one potato. Chop a few of these up in half, shall we? Make little, little tiny french fries. All right, boys, there we go. Here's our, our sliced tomato, tomato, potato. Here's our french fries. And then we gotta go back to the sink and uh, get some hot water. But my sink doesn't get hot water very quickly, so let's just sit and uh, contemplate life for a second. Ew, ew, why is the water kind of red? Ew. People talk about hot dog water, dude, they don't talk about potato water. Like, while we wait for that, let's turn on this oven to 450 degrees and the God Son F. You don't want to talk, eh? No, you don't want to talk, eh? You want to talk now? Huh? Do you want to talk now? Shut up, oven! You want to talk? We're just gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna, we're just gonna drain these fries. Pour this out into a colander. There we go, there is our very wet fry. Now it says we gotta dry these with a paper towel. Maybe two. Like, it literally specifically says maybe two. Boy, I ain't broke, I got six! Wait, four! Dry these as best as possible. And then guess what? One bacon sheet, two bacon sheets, three bacon sheets, four, I don't have four, I only have three. Just throw them on there as best as you can. All right, there's our potato slices or french fries as the Canadians call it. And then we get some sea salt straight from the Mediterranean Sea. Literally, because th this is from the Mediterranean Sea. You can never put too much salt, and especially with Overwatch, you can never put too much salt. Uh-oh! I skipped a step. Uh, so, I wasn't supposed to salt them first. I was supposed to coat them in oil. Uh, everybody get in there. You know what, it's fine, it's fine. The salt is gonna get evenly distributed now. Fondle the fries, figure out what the fries like. Do they like it rough, do they like it soft? I don't know, I'm not a french fry. And then take them out onto the pan. All right, oily hands and salt to fries later. Now it's time to put them in the oven. 20 minutes in the oven. A few inches later. So there is a pool of oil in there and I'm scared to flip the fries, but you know what? I know, weenie. It's stuck! Why is it stuck? Uh, you know what? We're, uh, we're, we're just we're just gonna ignore that for about five, five more minutes, huh? 328 AM. Okay, boy oh boy -os, let's get these fries out. The very sticky fries. I mean, these kind of look good. <laughs> Why are these so hard to come off? And then we get some of the glizzies on here. And then last but certainly not least, then we pour the sauce. Oh yeah. So there we have it, boys and girls. We got the fries, we got the glizzies, and the sauce. So we're gonna get one whole one. And... Oh, okay. The glizzy, it's pretty normal. It tastes like normal meat. I mean, depending on what normal meat tastes like to you. It literally is your run of the mill sausage. The sauce, on the other hand, it tastes like watery ketchup, which it, that is too. I added water and ketchup. Can't really taste the paprika, but what about the french fry? These took the longest to make. Now, I will say, these are really good, but really oily, and that's my fault. I didn't measure it out correctly, and I kind of panicked because I added the salt first, but, uh, uh, it tastes good! They taste like normal french fries, as if you went to McDonald's right now, I would say the french fries are better than the glizzies, but the glizzies are still good. Overall, I would say this recipe is like a seven out of 10. It's something that I'll definitely make again, but probably with higher quality sausages, because these ones, uh, you know, Johnsonville, I got it because of the name, because it was funny, but bro, your meats can be a little bit better. And the sauce, you don't really need the sauce. It literally is just watery ketchup. But I love you guys, thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.